Today is part two of this Urban Audio Works UAW 4400 amplifier, purple four channel that I've shown before and made some people mad. Well, why did I make people mad? Well, I showed the amp off, showed the overview, but I didn't do an amp dyno test. You big dummy. So I'm back and we have the amplifier here out of the box. You can see what it came with. It had the manual, it had a plexiglass bottom and a really nice box. We're gonna to get to that later, but looking at the amplifier itself, this purple anodized finish reminds me a lot of the new Down For Sound JP34ABs. But this one says HexFET, Super Bass, four channel, 400 watts, two way electronic crossover, all that kind of stuff to make it sound fancy. Well, back in the day, Urban Audio Works was a budget minded brand that included all kind of car stereo equipment as shown here in this ad, which they had crossovers, head units, CD changers, amplifiers, speakers, everything like that. Again, the UAW 4400 is what we're showing here with the box, really cool. Even has a past, past quality test. Let's take a closer look at the amp here. On the one side of the amp, see several options, including a power LED, two, three, or four channel operation, crossover for high, full, or low, gain control, RCA inputs for front and rear. On the other side is, again, crossover, level control, and there's high level inputs as well. On the opposite side, two 20 amp fuses for 40 amps total. Then we have the screw down terminals for 12 volt remote and ground. This is a four channel amp, so there's eight different screw down terminals for all of the channels for front and rear. The amp is also bridgeable, so you can run it in two or three channel mode. Terminals on this amp are the worst ever. You'll see I had to stand the amp up sideways for the test. Manual provides all kinds of specifications except for RMS power output. We had to get that from the box, but you can get the rise time, which is 0.01%, which what in the heck is rise time? This is not a Mickey Mouse program. Other specs look good. Signal noise ratio is greater than 90 dB. Damping factor is greater than 100 at one kilohertz. Dimensions are included as well. Again, we had to get the power output from the box says four times 67 watts RMS or two times 184 RMS bridged. So anyway, we're just gonna go with that. We don't have any other RMS power output other than 400 watts, quote unquote, max. So if you guys haven't seen the amp dyno test before, here's what we're gonna show you, the RMS power output on the left, the ohm load in the middle, the voltage on the right for the dyno will also show the remote indicator for the clamp so that we can provide efficiency. First up, we're gonna do four channels, test at one kilohertz. We do have all four channels hooked up to resistors. Two of them are hooked up to the dyno. The other two are just hooked up to four ohm resistors. Certified run first, rated 67 by four, 45 and 44, uh-oh. Hey, where's the deep? Hey, it's obviously not as bad as some I've shown before. We still gotta pick on it, right? It didn't do its RMS power numbers. Let's try uncertified, see if we get any closer. 4 ohm stereo, rated 67 watts by 4. We're still a good 20 watts off, 46 and 47 at 14.38. What about dynamically? Maybe we get some extra juice here dynamically. We do get a little extra. We're still, percentage-wise, pretty good way away from 67 watts. I know some people say, you're nickel and dominant. It's not that much. Well, just give me the numbers. As far as efficiency, this is a class AB4 channel, 58%, right about what we expect. Now let's try the two ohm mode. It's rated 92 watts times four RMS. Certified test first, a 1% THD. And yeah, 63 and 58. Thanks, Big D. This is Dick Riculous. D <laughs> All right, let's reset the amp dyno, try the uncertified test, see how much closer we can get to that 92 watts per channel. Mm, still not there, 63 and 58. Virtually identical to what we got to 1% distortion. What about dynamically before we got a little bit better there? And here you go, over 80 watts. So we're only about 10 to 12 watts away from the rating. So almost made its power dynamically 14.34. Efficiency drops 46%. Again, we don't expect good efficiency with these old school amps. Bridge test, we're gonna try it at 40 hertz here. Two channels, it's rated 184 times two RMS. Based on what we've seen before, I don't think we're gonna get it. No, 102 and 98. So 
So I thought, let's give this amp all the opportunity we can to get its rated power. Let's try uncertified up to clipping. Again, rated 184 by two. Gosh, we're a long ways away from that. 119 and 115 at 14.25. So dynamically, we gotta get closer, right? Dynamic pulse track. Again, this is 40 Hertz. 40 Hertz seems to be a more difficult frequency for some amps to reach its power. 127 and 121, and then we'll check efficiency. 41%, yeah, it's not getting any better. So again, I decided let's try one kilohertz bridged, see if we can get any closer, because this frequency usually is a little easier. This amp was probably run on full range speakers anyway. And 126, 119, we're still quite a ways away. Yeah, at least you tried, but you didn't succeed, Urban Audio Works, AKA Targa, AKA Sherwood, AKA whoever else bought you back in the day. Uncertified to clipping, still 60-ish watts, 55 watts away from the rated power. I'm smacking my head right now, thinking, man, that's why these amps were cheap back then. People thought they were getting a good deal, thought they were getting these rated RMS numbers. Not. That's why we bring this to you 30 years later so you can remember and still be mad. Efficiency, 48% is a little bit better with one kilohertz. As far as results go, I just showed you all the tests. You can pause this if you want to see all the numbers in my scribbly, scrabbly writing, but they're here. Now as for the sound demo, let's give you some sounds. Put on your headphones, check it out. Got the old school Urban Audio Works hooked up to the ELAC bookshelf speakers. Let's try some smoke jacket blue, see what it sounds like. Here we go. Try a song with a little bit more bass. Anno, Dominie Beats, this is called Coast. Those who watch my channel surely have seen this one before or heard it. Amazer Laser. If you guys get tired of these songs, make sure you check the YouTube audio library and let me know what song you want to hear me play on the next demo. Now let's check out what's inside this budget banger. Audio Works amplifier from back in the day. Take off the four screws on the bottom. And then we're going to surprise you. Probably not. Here is the amp. Actually, not too bad looking. Korean design. Four channel class AB. Kind of a typical Korean amp from the mid, lower to mid 90s. This one's actually a little different because a lot of those did not have crossovers built in. This one actually does have a low pass and a high pass crossover. 35 volt 2200 microfarad for the caps. RFZ 44s for the power supply and the B688 D718 there on the outputs. It looks like there's additional room here for possibly additional capacitors, which this uh, circuit board may have been used on different models for Urban Audio Works amps or some of the Targas or some of the other models out there. Now this amp came with this plexiglass bottom. I've never really had one of these back in the day, so I posted a question on Facebook. Hey, does anybody know do these come with acrylic bottoms or is this just, you know, custom one or whatever? Pretty much the consensus was, no, it didn't come with it. That is until I read this comment by Robert Moon. He says when he bought a store, they had 50 of these amps and four of them had plexi bottoms. And they were in the box. So do I have a super rare, ultra rare Urban Audio Works UAW 4400? I think so. I think somebody wants this amp because I think it's super rare, super cool. I appreciate you guys as always for watching, commenting, liking my video. Make sure you're subscribed as well. Only 20% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. Thank you guys. Till next time, Big D, I'm out of here. Thanks, sounds pretty good. You know how them sound waves go? Mm -hmm.
Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. 